Hello and welcome to Gareth and Zoe Wild Camps. This channel is all about inspiring others to get out, showing you a few different places to camp and giving some escapism to those who can't get out. Today we're doing a summer camp. <laughs> no, we're not. Obviously it's snowing, it's winter. Um, yeah, we're up Kinder Scout and... We're at the Woolpacks. And we're going to freeze. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. So we found a pitch and incidentally it's the same pitch we was on a couple of years ago nearly. Um, we was just pitched there below these great big rocks, what did you call them? Load big, of, big load of rocks. Big load Rock of rocks. Formation. <laughs> um, yeah and then we're looking right down into the valley and look at that for a view. Don't get much better than that. Unless it's boiling hot and you're in the sea and then it, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it probably does. Summer. But, wow, that is um, spectacular. I'm not going to say the camera's not <coughs> doing it justice because it is doing it justice. It's a decent camera. <laughs> and we never blame our cameras for shoddy workmanship, <laughs> do we? No. Nope. This is apparently how you make a flat pitch. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, tent sheet pitch. <laughs> Burglar Bell's getting their stay ready for tea. <laughs> their drinks on ice. Where's your drink? Oh. It's see, that's always two, two bottles, <laughs> and that, that's mine. I can see three. Oh, that one's water. Yeah, one of the green ones is water too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Help it. So the sun's set. It's uh, it's a bit darker than it looks on screen at the minute. Yeah. Gonna get tea. Um, what else can do? Drink. Drink. Really? <laughs> Just admire the view. Um, yeah, so I'll probably bring you back when we're uh, cooking. A bit of an issue with the stove. Well, say we, Zoe did. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> she lit it on top of the snow. Look, you can see how much it sank. And it just got lower and lower and lower. And we keep having to push the stand down and it uh, eventually got down to the grass. So yeah, it must have sank about six or eight inches. But you got your brew in the end, didn't you? Yep, who'd have thought the snow would melt, hey? <laughs> so me, being a uh, sensible person, dug a hole. And I put my stove straight on the, uh, straight on the ground. So I'm just going to uh, get my tea ready now. In mind, I'm trying to film. <laughs> right, what we've got here um, is I've got my Poundland 
El Cheapo pot, that's the tea caddy and then I've just modified it slightly and put a handle on it and stuff. Uh, little Trangia type meth stove, they're brilliant. Put a link in the description for those. And I've just made a homemade pot stand which is just a bit of metal I've bent and then wrapped some uh, wire around it so, so it's like that on the stove. Being like cack handed here, a bit like that. And then um, that's just a bit of a beer can. Beer can. There's a windshield, super lightweight. And it all goes together like that. So that's what I'll be cooking my tea on tonight. Talking of my tea somewhere in the tent. I'm having chicken gel frozy and some rice, just the microwave stuff so heat the curry up first and then just sling the rice in after. Jobs are good. What's Zoe having? Apart from a disaster. <laughs> I'm having weird food again. Weird food? Well, there's a surprise. Yeah, well, I went to the shop and I didn't have what I wanted, so I'm having veggie burgers that I made myself that I'm just going to chop up and then put into a sort of tomato sauce. So veggie sauce. burgers and a pasta sauce. Yeah. What was you going to have originally? I was going to have some chickpeas and like a vegan cheese. Yeah, that's just as weird, I think. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so we're just going to go... Uh, Get, get all this sorted now. <laughs> I don't want to say what that just looked like. <laughs> you know what's going to happen, is it? It's all going to just separate and dissolve and I'm going to end up with soup. Well, I'm different though. I hate going for a poo in the wild. <laughs> Yeah, that's just put me off my tea. You do another one? Yeah. <laughs> I should just eat them cold and raw, let them cold and have done because they are cooked. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound appetising. No. I dread to think what people are going to say in the comments. Look, this is healthy. This is carrots, sweet potato, chickpeas, herbs and spices. That's it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just don't look at that. <laughs> just lift that off again. <laughs> this isn't fair, though. <laughs> it's like someone's not flushed the toilet. <laughs> this is what last minute planning does for you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Have a curry and some rice. Ooh. Woohoo! <laughs> Close call, it's man. like you need three hands. <laughs> it's fine. I think um, I think a whole tin of curry and a whole bag of rice does go into this pan and uh, pot. Yeah. It did when we was on that uh, beach camp. Yeah. That's some good food. <laughs> <laughs> As expected, the burgers broke down. We now have diarrhea. We have very thick <laughs> vegetable soup. <laughs> I don't care. I'm eating it. <laughs> it's freezing. Yeah, I'm going with diarrhea. <laughs> don't be mean. Oh dear. <laughs> Go on. Let's give it. Let's have a taste test. No, not in, not on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No. <laughs> Can I have a taste test? Yes, it's not horrid. Yeah. It just looks it just looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nutty. Yeah, it has got some peanuts in it. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with mine, but it's, it's not as bad as it looks. No, it's not. <laughs> Sitting on the side of a snowy mountain, eating gel frazier. Yes. <laughs> I 
can't see anything, look, it's just dark. I've got all you need to see, just here, look. <laughs> yeah, your food. <laughs> it's good. And if you wonder what we're sat on, laminate underfloor um, insulation stuff is about seven quid for a 15 metre roll. You make roll mats and um, sit mats and all sorts and honestly I can't feel any cold coming through from underneath. Them. No you can't, it's really good stuff isn't it? And Zoe's sat on the same. How many socks you got on there? Four pairs. <laughs> four on each foot? Yeah, actually four on each foot. <laughs> Why have you got that many on? Because my feet are still freezing. <laughs> you might just be insulating the cold. Maybe, but I don't know. Why don't you know. take them all off, see if that helps? No. <laughs> Go run around in the snow. It's too cold. Um, yeah, we can't stress the importance of staying warm in these temperatures enough really it um, can be quite dangerous so what we recommend is bringing double the amount of alcohol <laughs> my big bad boys not really one of the uh, aware of the wool socks especially not when walking and stuff so see if my uh, feet are any warmer tonight not that particularly cold really at the minute, but... Look at you. <laughs> yeah. I just have... I'm just hot-blooded. But, yeah, I'll sleep in those and see how we get on. Oh, that's freaky. <laughs> Look at those feet. <laughs> some people have, like, some feet... Weird feet thing, don't they? Where they don't like feet moving and things. Look. <laughs> For all you viewers who don't like feet moving. <laughs> I've got my insulate trousers on. Yep. Got my down jacket, got on. Down jacket on. And I've even got a fleece underneath. Yep, that's how you stay warm. <laughs> Just as an extra measure. I am lovely and warm actually. Especially yeah. now we've come in the tent and the uh, the wind chills off us. But yeah, we'll get these sleeping bags set up and stuff. So we've got, um, both got, actually what we started out when we first started wild camping, um, decathlon, home brand thing, Quesha. Sleeping bags. I've got the XL because I'm a fat git. So they've got a comfort of zero, minus five, whatever limit. Um, and then we've also got down quilts to go inside them. And um, that snowy camp we did, it was something like, I don't know, minus six or something. And it was lovely and warm with these inside. These were off eBay. Don't ask for the link because. We, um, They're not there now, are they? Unfortunately. We, we just saw them on there for 35 quid. I can tell you the brand. It's a Double D Black Diamond. Yeah, that's it. It's the cost, Costco sell them. So if anyone's got a Costco card, go have a look in there. But They have them from abroad, don't they? But they're a bit more expensive because yeah, you you've can, got postage on top. You can get some shipped in from America and I think it works out about 40, 45 quid. But oh, they're brilliant, aren't they? They are. 700 fill, duck down. And they're, uh, they're ever so warm. They're big as well, really wide and long and stuff. And we originally bought them to use as under quilts on the hammocks, but they're um, they're great for increasing the uh, temperature rating of your sleeping bags without buying a 300 quid wrap thing or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, combination of down and synthetic just works really well. I'll just uh, fluff that up. So he's just left a realised he's just left a camera outside and it's got all frosty. Oh dear. Yeah, so Nick on it we eat. Go on, show everyone what we what you've just shown me. Ice in more water. And so bad. It goes right into there. And that bot that bottle was inside the tent. It was. <laughs> This is not good. I can actually see, you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's actually ice, like ice floating in the top there. If you, if you wonder why the water's brown, <laughs> it's uh, water we've filtered, so it's, uh, it's, be... it's high in peat content, but it's perfectly safe to drink. It's actually quite sweet in flavour. Don't squirt that out of the top. No, well, it's just you know, the ice that's in the middle. <laughs> yeah, at least it's fresh. 
it's fresh all right <laughs> it's freezing <laughs> We've got a channel we'd like to recommend to you. It's called Woodland Camp and Craft. He's a camping channel just like ours. Well, not just like ours, but he's a camping channel, so we have that in common. Yeah, it's comfy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does this really great live chat on a Wednesday night at nine o'clock, and you can ask questions about camping things or just talk about anything. It goes goes all over the place, really, sometimes. But it's hilarious, really funny. And we've been on it, sort of in the... Um, featuring haven't we? Yeah, run it, run it, run the live feed sometimes, on the video feed, so if you've got any questions you'd like to ask us live, we're on it every, run it every few weeks and we're also on it every week in the side chat, so so basically you've got a live video and you've got a side chat where you can type questions and we'll, uh, we'll try our best to answer it, but yeah, go, go over and have a look at Kev's channel, Woodland Camp and Craft, and uh, give, him a, give him a sub. Uh, we'll put a link down in the description. So yeah, good channel. Right, all in our sleeping bags. I say all. That's too a bit blurry. Um, yeah, so it's about I think it's about nine half nine. Bit of an early night, but we want an early start. So gives heavy snow for tomorrow as well. So nighty night, everybody. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Morning, Zoya. Morning. Yeah, we're just getting packed up now. It's blowing a blizzard outside. Yeah, it keeps snowing heavy. Uh, it's not stopped since we've woke up, really. Um, yeah, so not sure how much filming we're going to get done today. It's a total whiteout. So that'll be uh, fun navigating back. Cause it's always uh, interesting when the Paths have disappeared and there's no no <laughs> view. The yeah, no view whatsoever. <laughs> but um, yeah, brought our winter bags with us. Um, absolutely fantastic bag. Can't rate this bag enough. Uh, Van Gogh Sherpa. Really, really comfortable. And um, I, suppose, I, I mean, I only took I think uh, about 13, 14 kilograms because I went a bit OTT with the insulation and I bought a tin of uh, curry and stuff like that. But you, you wouldn't know there was that sort of weight in it. <coughs> really, really nice bag. Um, got it off Amazon, I'll stick a link in the description. But yeah, would recommend that. Anyone looking for a sort of 60, 70 litre bag, spot on. Not a very good um, view from it here, but I'm probably steaming up, but you can see, see the amount of padding on that. It's uh, lovely, lovely to wear. And, adjustable back system which is just you can do it while it's on you just pull these two levers and the um, that goes up and down so yeah great bag like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoor, forever free. Forever 
and you really had no visibility at all, you couldn't even see the landscape around you. So you've got to make sure that you have a compass, you know how to read one, um, you, or you know the area immensely well, or you just have somebody like Gareth who knows where he's going, I just followed him. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a home in Pigeon. Uh, and I've got no sense of direction whatsoever, so... But we did have to navigate sort of three or four miles back to the car, and, and a good two and a bit of miles were... 2,000 feet up a mountain, so... Yeah, no visible paths or anything, was there? No, all the, all the paths had gone, like I say, those deep uh, deep bits of snow where you just sank and, yeah, just don't risk it if you're not sure, it's just not worth it. Yeah, I mean, we had a friend, didn't we, that went up actually on the same day as us, but they were sensible for them because they didn't know the area that well or they didn't know how to navigate themselves through the snow, so they actually turned around and went back down, which is the right choice if you're not sure, is always just turn around, isn't it? Yeah, I hope he's just mad, just go carry Just keep carrying on like us. <laughs> yeah. So, news flash for you, we've just been featured in our first online magazine, it's called The Wild Camping Magazine, so give it a look, there's an article about us in there, I think we're going to be in another one as well at some point. It's, um, it's a really good magazine, it's full of lots of different tips and things about camping as you'd expect, so give it a look. Yeah, we'll put a link for that down in the description, so uh, I think this, the last episode was about 80 pages, so it's, it's quite a good it's a substantial magazine, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, some good reading there. Right, so just as a quick reminder, don't forget about Woodland Camping Crafts channel. Uh, go check him out. And all the equipment you've used, you've used, what we've used. <laughs> that you might want to use. <laughs> on this trip, we'll stick it all down in the description with links to that way you can buy it from, that sort of stuff. So, And it's also all on our website. If anyone's interested in the, in the photography we did on this trip, that's all on our website as well, so check that out. If you're not subscribed, get yourself subscribed now, you know, it makes sense. <laughs> so thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Hello and welcome to Gareth Wild Camps. Hello and welcome to Gareth and Zoe Wild Camps. This channel's all about inspiring others to get out, giving you some ideas of places to camp. And interject no, I can't remember, I forgot. <laughs> and something else. <laughs> we just like <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you really do it to be mean. Go on, seriously, go on. <laughs> uh, we <we'll> <laughs> would like to draw your attention to another channel that we draw make. your attention to that sounds a bit posh. I'm sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> God, I won't do it anymore. <laughs> we do know the area quite well and, you know, you have to make sure that you... Oh, <laughs> I, just... <laughs> I just lost what I was saying completely. If you haven't subscribed already, then have a think about doing so. <laughs> well, don't have a think. Just don't think about it, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and if you're not subscribed, then <laughs> do it. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.